right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to King Tree Sean Cultivating Conversation in New York City. How y'all been? Happy 2022. All right, I'm going to try something different today. Well, actually, uh, for this new year, some new questions. A lot's going on. Um, we want to focus on our relationships still, okay? As usual, you know, we got the book on deck, Wake Up, Work Hard. All right, so uh, love, right? <clears throat> love given to a woman, is it ever reciprocated? And can it be? All right. The love given to a woman, is it ever reciprocated and can it be? It's a really interesting. Um, most can see it from their own perception. Um, depends on that relationship, to tell you the truth. Speaking from my own experience, um, yes, I've felt reciprocated love from women in relationships, but it seems, you know, uh, short term, you know, spurts. It seems as if you get that love when they are in the mood, <laughs> you know, so they're creatures, they're creatures of uh, different habits and their lifestyle and the way they grew up is just like any man. So, you know, to each his own on that one. All right. Let's go to the next one. Uh-oh, this one sounds at a couple gunshots. All right, now, when a relationship ends with someone significant or otherwise, is friendship every possibility? Or is it just sex with friendship or nothing at all? That's kind of interesting. Okay, so when a relationship ends with someone significant or otherwise... Is friendship every possibility? Or is it just sex? Or nothing at all? Now, to me, that is a great question. I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening a lot where um, the friendship is just friendship without sex. Or it's just nothing. So, I see mostly, I mean, maybe it's just my circle. My realm. That I'm noticing it, but... uh most women, if they are not having sex with you after a relationship, and uh, especially if it didn't end on greatest terms, they don't want to be friends or uh, have sex. So that's what I've noticed. <laughs> but you have some that just want to keep the sex and not really the friendship. So, you know, again, to me, on that one, this to each his own. But what do y'all think? Drop a comment. All right. <laughs> We're going to the next one. One more for y'all, all All right? All right, so has growth over time taught us in the past few months how all relationships are important? Okay, has growth over time taught us in the past few months how all relationships are important? In my opinion, yes. I think um, just through the pandemic, the other uh, life situations, um, there's been a lot of you know, funerals going on. So I can say on my side, on I and I side, that uh, yes, I've noticed how much we're worth to each other. We need to notice that a little bit more. I mean, taking care of each other, you know, showing a little bit more love to one another. You know. Anyway, well, that's a good one. That was a good one. But still, to each his own. Pa now and then. All right, last one, last one. I thought the other one was, but this is the last one. Let's go. Let's get it in. All right. Last one says, being with someone for over five-year period, isn't it easy to just... Right, hold on. I got to read this right. All right, so being with someone for over a five-year period, why is it so easy to leave and give up on it? Okay. All right, I get it. That is a good one. If you've been with someone for over five years or longer, that's a lot of investment. So just to leave out of it, I mean, I'm not talking the money. The money is, you know, it's like materials. You can always get it back. It's just the time you put in with that person, the experiences you've had with that person. To me, that's something I don't think should be thrown away ever. That's like the most significant part of being in any relationship, whether it's significant or not. Um, 
in my opinion, you should always try and keep that friendship um, or stay in contact at least with the persons that you've that you're not with anymore. Um, if it hinders your new relationship or has another, you know, thing that's gonna pop off for of that, you know, you don't want no happening, you know, around you. So <laughs> we're gonna keep it clean and remind you guys, cultivating conversation will be. You know, doing once a week at least for the 2022. If y'all staying with me, I appreciate it. Any likes, any comments, definitely need the comments. Definitely want to hear back from you guys. And thank you if you're still there. I see that we did get a few more subscribers. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, if you have any questions for me, please send it out. And um, we'll be back. All right, take care.